Welcome back to Gun and Shot TV. Uh, this is Chris. Today I was going to talk about uh, something uh, that's a little bit archaic and uh, maybe not all you know about. And it's something you'll see in a lot of Michael Mann films. So uh, that's usually the only place you see it because most movies are pretty terrible about uh, realism with gun stuff. But generally in a Michael Mann film, you'll always see uh, all the uh, little subtleties of you know, actually knowing how to use a gun because he actually gets competitors and trainers that shoot professionally to go show his actors how to handle those guns. So what you'll see is, uh, it's called a press check. Um, it's, it's more something that you want to do with a 1911 style gun or an older style gun. Most modern guns have what's called a loaded chamber indicator. And I'm going to use a live round here to demonstrate, but there's only one round. And on a 1911, you've got a safety back here. So as long as you're not pressing that, you know, the gun can't go off, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction, all that stuff. What a press check looks like is you're going to take your weak hand, put your thumb through the trigger guard, and you're going to push on this spring cap here. And you're just going to push back enough to look in the chamber. Now, on a 1911, there's really no other way to see if there's a round in the chamber. So that's why the press check is, is really used. Um, as you can see, there's nothing in there. Now if I rack it, now I've got a live round in the chamber. Now if I do a press check, you'll see the brass in there, and you'll know that the gun has a round in it. Like I said, in a bunch of Michael Mann films, that's usually what you'll see. Um, I think one of my favorite ones, Thief, with uh, James Kahn. He uses press checks, he's clearing rooms, he's doing all kinds of cool stuff. When he went out the window. Now on a modern gun like a Glock, your dust cover is completely covering the bottom of the slide, and you also have a captive, captive spring guide there. So you can't really press on the gun to get there. What you'll see some people do is they'll call it a pinch check. They'll just pull it back enough that you can look in the action. Um, also on a lot of modern guns like a Glock, there's actually what's called a loaded chamber indicator, and that is the extractor will stick out a little bit or sometimes it'll be a separate loaded chamber indicator device that'll stick out somewhere else let me show you what that looks like on a Glock so I'm putting one round in um, obviously don't pull the trigger on this you don't need to put your finger in the trigger guard so if we pull it back a little bit we can see there's nothing in that chamber now if we pull the slide back all the way chamber a new round now if we if we look right here you can see there's a little bit of a raised nub, and that's your loaded chamber indicator. I'm trying not to point this gun anywhere on safe, but um, if you look at if you look there, you can also in the dark feel it with your finger. So you can feel that and know there is a round in the chamber. Um, that kind of has replaced the press check. You can still do kind of a press check, but you got to make sure you don't put your finger in front of the the barrel while it's loaded. You can pull it back just enough to see that case in there, and then you know, yeah, you know. But like I said, most people call this like a pinch check or something like that because you're not really pressing anything to check it. But that'll tell you whether the gun's loaded or not. It's one of those things you really only see in, like I said, Michael Mann movies. Or maybe a, a serious operator type character would do it on a 1911 platform where there's really no other way to accurately see if there's anything in the chamber. So that, all in all, is how you do a press check. So now I've been playing with loaded guns and unloaded guns and stuff like that, so I'm just going to verify visually there's nothing in the chamber of either of these. Drop the mag on that. Nothing, we're both unloaded. I've got my two rounds that I was demonstrating with. But that's a press check, like I said. Um, now that you kind of know what it looks like, but that, that's what you do is you just pull it back enough, and you, you just want to pull it back just a little bit to see that brass, and then let go. Um, you know, it, it's it's limited utility. Like I said, on modern guns, you got usually a loaded chamber indicator, of one type or another. But uh, especially on an older 1911, if you you know knew you were getting into some serious shit, let's say you're gonna go uh, go into an active situation where there's somebody else with a gun. You want to make damn sure that that gun that you've got is loaded. So that's that's really what a press check is for. And like I said, it's one thing you probably will never see other than in movies at this point anymore. 
and even then very few movies. But for Gun and Shot TV, this is Chris saying have a rootin' tootin' drunk and shootin' day. Thanks for watching.